In this video, I'm going to show you my first timed solo run against the new endgame boss, Earl Williams. So I fought Earl Williams quite a few times and I have done a duo timed run with Tia, but I haven't yet timed any solo runs, so I thought it was about time I posted a timed run. So here it is. If you want to watch the duo run I did with Tia, I will link that video in the description. So this will be a full min-maxed bloodied stealth commando build and I will be using chems on this run and making use of the revenant perk with the help of four pieces of life-saving gear. I also have the three wendigos at the top of the mine before the rocks fall so that I can stack a little bit of adrenaline. So first let's talk about the weapon that I'll be using. This is a bloodied faster fire rate less vats cost fixer and it's seriously OP as a bloodied stealth commando weapon and I think it is the best of the best. Next up we have my armour, 4 pieces of unyielding and 1 piece of chameleon. Make sure when you're fighting Earl you put on an asbestos mod on your chest piece to completely negate the falling embers damage which will result in your immediate death, but with the asbestos mod it makes you completely immune from them. Shout out to Tear for publishing that video on it. Next up we have the chems that I use. I have made a video about all the chems and their effects that I use and if you want to watch that video I'll also link it in the description but I will be using Ballistic Bark, Blight Soup, a Small Guns Bobblehead, a Guns and Bullets 3 Magazine, Overdrive and Psycho Tats. So now let's get into the fight and I will see you guys when it's done. Okay guys, so that was awesome and I managed to kill Earl Williams, the new hardest endgame boss in just under 29 seconds. I will of course be striving to get a better time and may even resort to using the Blowfly Syringer at the top of the mine on the three Wendigos to max out adrenaline. I was also pretty unlucky not to get a quick hands proc during the fight, but then again I only run with one point in the card so it is only a 6% chance to proc. At the end of the fight guys, let me know in the comments, do you rush for the exit or do you stick around and farm the Wendigos for ammo and materials like what I do? I'm always able to recover pretty much all the ammo that I use during the fight and sometimes I end up with more depending on the Wendigo spawns. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this time run and if you want to see more Fallout 76 videos, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.